you feel about Krishan moving into Blueface's home? I mean, did this get your stamp of approval? Can I cuss on TMZ? Sure. Hell motherfucking no. It's a hell no. It was a hell no then. It's oh. a hell no now. Um, so you want her to leave? Maybe. I would love for her to find somebody else's child to play with. I would love for her to go find another man, another somebody. My son is not mentally capable to help her unpack all of that baggage. Um, she has a lot going on and it's just, I feel like it's too much for him. It's, it's too much for me. Have there been issues between you and Krishan because of her move in? I mean, have you? I was really trying to support her because of the baby and just trying to, you know, let bygones be bygones. But her last um, live that people were sending to me where she wants me to die is just, Ooh, okay. it's, it's, it just, it's just telling me what I knew all along that she has some mental issues that I just, I don't, I'm uncomfortable with at this point. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of women out there have mental issues. A lot of them suffer from depression. You know, they have a lot of other issues that they're dealing with. Um, they're caught in this maze of validation and, and, and fake admiration and just really just a bunch of narcissism. It's all about attention. It's all about money. And frankly, it's all about being sexually free, really just having no basic set of morals or anything like that. And then they decide that they want to have children and they just repeat this cycle over and over. He's also toxic. They're both toxic at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a it's not a healthy mix. It's never going to work. And they probably just keep uh, doing things uh, to get attention from each other, which are toxic. Of course. I mean, do you I mean, still hope to have the baby in your care, in your care full time? Um, if, if it ever comes to that, I'm uh, more than prepared and willing to take care of the baby. If that's what needs to be done, I'm hoping and praying that because that also comes with a lot more communication with her. So I'm hoping to just be able to, uh, to be able to just visit the baby when, you know, he gets the baby. But now that she's at the house, um, his dad is there. I'm hoping that that doesn't turn into another domestic violence of some sort. Cause I know his dad is a neat freak and she's kind of all over the place. So I'm just hoping that what happened with us doesn't happen with his dad at this point. I want what is she like? So he's in jail and she's staying at a house that also has the father there. That is, is just a, you know, a mix for disaster right there. You know what I mean? The girl needs help. She needs somebody to sit there and talk to her and show her how things go. Um, she probably doesn't need another man in that scenario. I'm sure that some of her past uh, has a lot to do with how she is now, her relationships with the men in her life and all of that. So, I mean, it's like you can't keep putting like band-aids over things and like stepping over certain things without addressing them and just thinking it's all going to work out in the end just because a baby, you know, contrary to what a lot of people believe, you know, getting married, just getting married and or just having a baby is not going to bring you closer. It's not going to make you smarter. You know what I'm saying? You have to work. And a lot of these young people they work is something that doesn't exist for them especially people that are in the social media arena making a lot of money they don't care about anything because they're making money and they're young so they think they're invincible so they think they can just you know do whatever without consequence i want to know what did you think about Krishan? you know tattooing blue face on her face i mean it has a lot of people talking i really hope that it's fake because I don't want her to feel like my son owes her like he did for the other seven tattoos when he comes home and wants to get his mind right and position himself to not have to deal with all this anymore. Well, I mean, as a grown up woman and as a mom herself, I would hope she would also take into account that she shouldn't be doing that period, whether it's his face or the face of a dog. You know, it's just not a good look. It's not a, a good representation. Now, we all have freedom of expression. We can do what we want to do. But you also have to understand that for whatever, you know, decision you decide to make, there's going to be a reaction to that. There's going to be limitations that you might receive from that. But a lot of women go around thinking that they can just do whatever and everybody is just supposed to handle that and accept that. But you have to think about the future, not just today. And unfortunately, a lot of women only think about today because it's, it's all about immediate gratification and money and status and all that. 
So, what did you think of the tattoo? I thought it was fucking crazy. Crazy. I thought it was absolutely fucking crazy. Okay. I mean, do you feel that Krishan is being genuine when expressing love to Blueface again and wanting him out of prison? I mean, do you feel her, her feelings are genuine? I feel like she does all of these antics to make him feel guilty um, and to make him feel obligated to having to deal with her because no one else will. Well, I mean, the girl doesn't know what love is. That's clear. You know, she thinks she's in love with him, but all it is is just tox toxicity. That's it. You know, and she's confusing sexual activity with commitment and relationships and love and all of that and it's just not the case so she doesn't really understand what that is in her mind she probably believes that it, it that it is love because someone that is constantly seeking attention like that has a lot of issues that they need to work out first before they even can discover what you know real true love is and it's definitely not just having a baby with somebody that doesn't equate to just love you know what i mean of course. I mean, my last question to you is, I mean, do you have anything to say to Krishan? Like, I mean, you kind of seem a little upset by her. I can't even bit. tell her to go get Jesus because, you know, according to her, one day, you know, she holier than thou and worshiping the Lord. And then the next day she's asking for me to die. So um, if I could give her any advice, it would be to find another family to play fatal attraction with because we're done. We're about done with this. Well, it's all about attention. Again, that's all it's about. The reason why she's switching from one thing to the next is because she gets a different shock value, right? So if one day it's all about the Bible and you really start to believe that this person is sincere and they changed and the next day is the complete opposite, well, opposite, well, there's a whole bunch of shock value to that. And there's a whole bunch of, let me like this comment. Let me like this video. Let me do all of this. See, it's all about attention. And because today you have to understand folks for these young women and young men but especially young women we live in a world now where attention can put money in your pocket so for a lot of these young people the more attention they can get the more money they can make see they have you know come to think that in the world that we live in now that it's all about money it's all about material things and if you have a certain amount of money it doesn't matter what your character is you see what i mean that's something that has really come to the forefront within the last what five six years with people from all different sectors people that had a lot of money started to stand out and just be complete asses to anybody and everybody and it's all justified because i'm better than you and i have more money than you and i can just act any kind of way that i want to act but i'll leave with this once you have a child it's time to grow your ass up there is no more excuses there is no more kid gloves there is no more chances either you're gonna do it or you're not y'all need to stop playing with sex like it's a toy Stop playing with people's feelings like they're a toy. Because, see, a lot of these situations like this, people lose their lives over. Over dumb things like this. So, be smart. Don't follow this example. If you want to be recognized and you want to be respected, do something that will benefit you the rest of your life and something that you can leave your children that they'll be proud of. Not this nonsense. Because, as you know, the Internet is undefeated. It, it stays there. It's not going nowhere. Somebody's going to see it. And you're going to have to deal with it the rest of your life, just like your children and just like your husband or your boyfriend or your, your siblings. So it's not going to go away. Be smart. Because as you can see, no matter how much money you make in your life, for one, you can't take it with you. We all know that, right? And for two, it's not going to make you happy. Because that comes from in here. It comes from your soul. It comes from who you are as a person. Because you can have all the money in the world, but if you're not a humble person and you don't know how to manage that well and you let it get to you and dictate your ego, you're just going to have problems. We see it all the time. That's why this thing even exists, TMZ. Because of stuff like this. You have the power to achieve anything you want. 
Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.